Hi, I'm Christina Lett, a certified wound specialist and the chief nursing officer for Wound Care Advantage and also a WCU alumni. And this video is about the responsibilities of a wound care nurse. Did you know that less than 1% of registered nurses are wound care certified? A wound care nurse specializes in assessing and caring for complex non-healing wounds that can include ostomies. They can work in both acute and post-acute settings with different types of responsibilities. There are also different types of certifications you can get for wound care as well. The most common and well-known certification is a WOCN, a wound ostomy continence nurse. They specialize in wounds, ostomies, and incontinence care. Our typical duties include assessing and monitoring wounds, providing treatment plans for patients with chronic wounds, assisting providers in procedures such as debridements, educating patients and their caregivers on how to properly take care of their wounds at home, coordination of care, and more. The duties will depend on what type of setting you work in. Wound care is not for the faint of heart, and not many like it due to the odors and potentially disturbing images you'll be seeing. I believe it's one of the most rewarding specialties because you get to follow your patient's healing journey and be there when they're able to return back to their normal life. Wound care nurses are a part of the patient's healing continuum and participate in their care along with other specialties to ensure patients heal quickly. Our main goal is for limb preservation and amputation prevention. We use our highest level of knowledge and expertise to educate others and provide consultations. If you're interested in wound care, don't be deterred if you don't have any experience. The beauty of wound care is that you don't need experience to start. You can learn and gain experience on the way. Eventually get certified and continue to expand your knowledge and expertise. So no matter what specialty you are, you're always gonna come across a wound in your acute or post-acute setting. So it's important to understand them so that you can help your patients heal. I became a wound care nurse because I really loved how different and sometimes grotesque wounds can be. And I just thought it was so interesting that me as a nurse can help in the patient's continuum to heal these difficult wounds that a lot of people turn away from because of how gross they are. I've been a wound care nurse for 14 years and I've been lucky enough to stay in this specialty and expand my knowledge and teach others about why wound care is so cool because I think wound care nurses are special and very unique. I love being around patients and understanding who they are. I think it's one of the specialties where I actually get to see patients often and see them through their whole continuum of care. Oftentimes we see patients for one small piece of their life, um, if they're in the hospital or in a nursing home and you see them for that brief moment, but in wound care you follow them from beginning to end and it's really special to see a patient heal and be so grateful that you were there on their journey. Right, you're gonna come over here. Oh, okay. This is our healing bell. Okay. Every time you heal, you ring it and it does, it's a <clears> celebration, <throat> but also lets other patients know that this is a goal of theirs as well. So ring it with all your might. I know this happened on the first day that I was here. I was so excited. Yeah. Okay. Get into it. Ready? Yeah. The most important responsibility of a wound care nurse is really letting the patient be comfortable. Oftentimes patients are embarrassed of their wound. Um, they don't want to deal with it. It smells. It's ugly. They don't want others to know. And providing comfort in that moment for them is so special. Um, that's my favorite part and I think that's why it is so important to have more wound care nurses in the industry to provide this type of care for our patients.